Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Omni Factory. And today we're gonna get right back into it with these magmatic dynamos and do what we gotta do to get some up and running. So I'm thinking five of them would be good because one will power the ender tank that is or the ender pump, I should say. That's in the nether, like pulling up the lava. Or the lava, and then we'll have four at our base. So, let's start off by making five copper furnaces and sleep the night away if we can. Great, great. So yeah, maybe I should also get some dark steel being produced, because that's going to take a good amount of time. So it's going to be one... let's see here... Ten dark steel plates, and then these... are four. Okay, so ten dark steel plates. And then... 40 for the, uh, the gears, so 50 dark steel. Let's get this up and running. We gotta mix that with coal, I believe. Uh, I don't think we have enough coal. Um... We can go get some coal. Do I know where any is? Oh yeah, that's right. There was one in like... Literally like right down there. Also, let me grab... You, are you getting... Yeah, you're good for now. Put you right there, and... We're gonna swap that out with that. And yeah, let's uh, go down here and... Get this coal. So the base is kind of closed, but I don't think it's like too dangerous to use this. Let's just see how it turns out. So bam. 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 Okay, yeah, we're good. Uh, this is oil sand, but there is coal in it, so it will do the job. Let's kill this spider. Um... There they go. And we'll just get a bunch of this good stuff. Looks like we ran out of cobble really fast, but that's okay. And any additional stuff can go in here. Alright, let's go up. And I'm gonna seal that. 
Looks like a lot bounced up here. I guess it's the first one I mined since it had nowhere to place the items. The very, very first horizontal surface layer. And then once there was a pocket, the additional layers stayed down there. Um, like Spike. Uh, I would like to seal that hole up. I feel like that would be a smart thing to do. Okay, that's good. And put the rest of the dirt away. This can go here. Ring can go away. So we got a lot of oil sand. And uh, like a decent amount of coal, so. Put that away. The spider eye can go away. Pickaxe is about to break. I think since it literally has just, what is it, eight more uses, I'm just gonna trash can it. And then we can make a diamond pick. Um, equipment. Is it like that? Other way around, maybe? Uh, pickaxe. Pick. And I would like the diamond one, please. Oh, it's just the file, okay. I'll lock that in there. Ta-da! We got a decent pick now. Um, I would like to get rid of the Lignite. Now all we gotta do is process this coal down. If we uh, pulverize it, we get Lignite. 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 Thorium. Thorium. Okay, so we might want to go the ore wash route at some point with this stuff. But I don't know if we should worry about that right now. At the very least, let me get 50 of it cooking. Because we're going to need that right here, right now. You and you can come out. Come on, buddy. There we go. And then we gotta macerate that into powder. I don't know if you have to do that, actually. Um, where's the alloy smelter? Coal dust. Yeah, it has to be dust form. What was the carbon one? Steel. Oh, you can make steel out of carbon? I never knew that. Learn new things every day. <laughs> I've always used coal. Okay, I need to alloy smelt these two, two together. And that will make the dark steel we need for the, uh, the gears and the plates. Now let's work on these copper furnaces. We don't have too much copper going on, do we? So the next mission would be to find copper. 
me grab my scanner. Rare ores, common ores. Range. Maybe I should make another range and make a block scanner and then look for copper specifically. Specifically. You are literally an ender pearl and a blank scanner module. Let's get an ender pearl going. Um, here, right? Yeah. Okay. Make me an ender pearl, please. And the block scanner module is going to be just a piece of stone, okay. Do we have stone anywhere? Maybe in here? Yeah, I just need one of these. Grab you. And these things are coated circuit boards and gold wires, okay. Let's make some gold wires. The coated circuit boards, we're gonna need 12 of. Uh, wire mill. Hooray. So make me two of these if you can. And then that's gonna go with the ender pearl. And then this is gonna go with the stone. Nice. Let's sleep the night away. So the scanner can now put these down here. Put another range. And then the block module we're going to have to scan something with. But since we don't have copper ore on us, we're going to have to get it with coins. Because I don't feel like finding it first. Um, let's see here. Copper ore is just two nickels. There we go, and I'm gonna take one of these. Maybe I should make like a room for ores. How about the bottom floor? This is where that crater is, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go one floor up. Okay, and we'll do it here. So, grab you. Now you should be set to copper ore. Awesome. Yep, one more up. And now... Um, I'll let you macerate while I go look for copper. There's some very far down there. I'm guessing that's that bedrock. Let me look for the surface kind. Because that one, I don't know. <laughs> if I want to dig down that far. We have copper right here, actually. Did we get all of it? Also, I'm forgetting one thing. And that's cobble there. Okay. <laughs> Let's go look and see how large this fan is. Hi, piggy pig. Okay. 
That's decent. There's a lot there and there's some over here. Looks like there's a bunch over there. This copper all around, awesome. So maybe right here would be a good spot. Here we go. And he is gone. Ow. I need to swap you with you. And... Right there. Zombie. So let me put some things in the bag. Alright. And now we can do something fancy like that. there yet. Looks like we're there real soon. Cool. To the light. <laughs> um, kind of want to destroy that. Yeah, how about we get rid of these mob drops? Get rid of the gravel. Get rid of the dirt. Tongue state. Where did we get tongue state from? Hi. Yeah, one more thing to destroy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> um. Yeah, caves are brutal in Omni Factory. Just monsters for days. Does he know how to get up here? He sure does. Ah. Helmet broke. Uh, go here. And just do this several more times. Until we run out of cobble.
Ish. Okay. Of course, there's lava. Okay. I need some type of way to transfer items to the base. Uh, I'm gonna destroy this. The many bats. Let me start lighting things up, that will help. bat. I'm a beady little bat. Are we there yet? Almost. I can't do that because I didn't do the full thing. Okay. Now let's go back to the base. Did I get everything? No. Um, if I could throw one thing away, what would it be? Dirt. should be enough copper to hopefully get us into applied energistics. Na, 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 na. I'm gonna have to automate polyethylene real soon. Night away because I see a creeper on the mini map to the south. Seems safe. Stelite. So there's actually a tungstate and, and a stelite van very close to that copper van. That's good to know. Looks like there was silver there too. Wow. That's crazy. Stib Knight is antimony, that's good for soldering alloy if we need that for any reason. I prefer not to use it because tin comes from deep mob learning and like more than I'll ever need, so. <laughs> uh, speaking of deep mob learning, that would be nice to set up soon. And maybe I should make the glitched infused armor as well. Um, I do need another helmet, so... How much rotten flesh we got? I can just grab this. And I think it's still the same recipe. Yep. That's fine. Now...
I'm gonna put this away. Actually, I'm gonna put that in my bag. Whoops. How much copper did we get? A decent amount of the regular copper. And a lot of tetrahedrite. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, how did you do? You're all done, buddy. I'm going to crush the rest with a hammer. And then we can smelt that down into ingot form. I mean, if we centrifuge it, we get nickel. So actually, let's do that. Let that centrifuge down and get us some good stuff. I think all of this clay dust is in the wrong place, right? That's supposed to be electrolyzer. I think. Let's see here. Yeah, it's electrolyzer. Wrong place. <laughs> That doing its thing, and you should turn on. Awesome. So that's getting copper, and it's also getting nickel. So how much copper do we need? Eight times five? So like 40? Because 10 times eight is 80, so yeah, 40 would be half of that. Um, yeah, let's, uh, get it from here, just for now. That will get us the 40 copper we need. We also need five furnaces. You're done, and you're done, and we're gonna make our copper furnaces. Oh, it's iron first, and then copper. Okay. How are we doing on iron? Um, vanadium, dibnite, coal, tin, iron. I'm gonna break this down. Do we still have that hammer? We sure do. Okay. Yeah, buddy. And then we can grab that hammer and do this. Let's see how much we get from a single stack. Is it going to be like a stack and a half or two stacks? I'm curious. And push that line all the way to the door. Is that a creeper in the base? There must be a dark spot. I'm gonna make a ferro flare lantern as soon as we get to the nether. I don't think so, bud. Okay, that's taken care of. I'm gonna put you back. And we got almost a stack and a half out of a single stack. That's not bad. Not exactly double, but it's better than not processing it at all. Uh, need six raw iron ingots. Do we have any anywhere? I think there's some.
plates down here. But not ingot form. Yeah, let me... Smelt this up. Make another hammer, finish that, and then we'll start smelting this. If we process that in the centrifuge, we get tin. That's not concerning me. Uh, yeah, that goes there, that goes there. Let's make you. And do the rest. We've got the iron we need. I need 40 iron. Bam, and bam. Uh, this first. And now we have that piece of the puzzle. Hopefully all that steel is done. Now we gotta turn that into dark steel, so we need 50 more coal. Let's see here, that's stibnite. Oh, we do have magnetite, cool. Um. If I cook you down, I just get coal, yeah. Um, that will do. Bam and bam, grab you and you. Oops, throw you in there. And then we can turn these into void crystals. Sure beats mining 50 obsidian. <laughs> There we go. Head on over here and do that. Bow. <laughs> now we can turn this steel into dark steel. That's going to take a good little while, so let's start working on the other things. I'm going to get rid of those two things. Uh, these are going to be just... Yeah, so... I need 15 of them, so 8 silver will do. Get that processing. Do we have enough redstone? Yes. Oh, that can go away. This is gonna be... 25 red alloy plates. Got 14. Let me process some more copper. Oh, you know what? That's the wrong way to do it. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad way to do it, but it's the wrong way to do it. <laughs> um, I think... I do this and then do that. Yeah. I need four more redstone. And then we can smelt that down instead. And then skip the alloy smelter step. <laughs> Okay, this can go away. So I need 25 plates of this stuff. Hello, nighttime. Goodbye, nighttime. Alright, so that's exactly what I have. Compress that down, and that will get us all of the plates we need. We're also going to need... 30 gold rods, which is going to be 15 of this.
Okay, that's gonna make that. And we have that now, so that can get marked off. How's that dark steel looking? 13. 14. Yeah, that's gonna take a good little minute here. I'm gonna fill that up with sugar can. Um, over here. Wink and Japan. <laughs> How are you doing, by the way? Made a decent amount of aluminum, a lot of silicon and sodium, uh, lithium. I need to make some type of power storage that isn't just those little batteries because as you can see they would be depleted pretty fast but I might be able to make like I don't know maybe like 10 more aluminum if I'm lucky before the power gets tapped let's see here whoops Grab you. Aluminium gets smelted. Oh, you were already, um... I, I disabled the work, that's what I did. That's right. Let's re-enable you. And then put like four more in. Or three more. I think it can make 10 or 11 at a time. With the current setup. Okay, are you done? Getting there. Yeah, I'll be back once this is all processed. Alright, so gave it a little bit of time. It looks like things are done processing, so well, let's go here. Grab that, and here, and grab that. We got Dark Steel done as a quest, cool. Now we want to make 10 plates, right? So we're going to throw those in there and these need to be turned into gears and we're going to need these, which is going to need grains of infinity. So, how many gears are we going to need in total? One, two, so ten as well. So, forty iron. In gear form. Do we have iron gears? Yeah, we have four, so... I'm going to need six more. Right? One... Two. That's four. So. That should be enough for the gears we're going to need. Let's go ahead and get those processing. Oh, and uh, grains of infinity are going to come from a flint and steel. Which is going to be rather easy to do. Okay. Pull that out of there and do this. Then we need a silicon. That's gonna mix with that to make electrical steel. And then we're gonna put that and that back. That's gonna do that, and now we need the flint and steel. 
Oh, it's just a steel nugget. For some reason, I thought it was electrical steel. My bad. <laughs> we'll just keep that then. You know what I was I was thinking of was those um uh, these things. Yeah, the capacitors. Conduit Pro would definitely be nice as well. Can't turn it back in the. Oh wait, no, I gotta put it back. It's a glitch on the Greg Tech table. So steel, like the regular version, is just. Uh, my fault. Uh, careful. That there and there. That's gonna make a gear. Then it's gonna make the steel. Then we can make the flint and steel. We're gonna have to get some grains of infinity. That's always fun. Plates are done. Let me mark that off. Are you done? Are you there? Almost. Couple more seconds. Now let's grab you and continue that. Alright, so this needs to do that and we need a flint. And then we're gonna do that. And that. Put that here. And a spot we can do this is our mine down here. Like Spike. Alright. So I'm thinking... Maybe... Down here somewhere. We have a mining hammer still. Yes, awesome. I get away from that lava. Oh, why don't I use the destruction gadget? That'd be quicker. Let's do. Um. Bam. 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 I'm destroying coal, ain't I? Um. Right here is fine. Go down to bedrock. cool thing about Omni Factory is Bedrock is flat, which is really nice. Okay. And finally, do that. Put some torches down. Ooh, redstone. Okay, and now for the fun part. Okay. Yeah, I punched one out. <laughs> it's like popcorn, right? Collect the infinite.
So it's two per the gear, right? And we need 10 gears, so we need 20 of this. We're one short. Ah. No. <laughs> One more flint and steel. Got that, and that, and then... Make another... Let's do that one more time. So we have some extra for capacitors if needed. And here we go. Oh, I did have 20. I just missed one. Oh well, so we need more anyways. Yeah, I just picked one up. Okay. more pops and we'll be out of here. Nice. Awesome. So 43. The second time was a better yield by three. But now I'm going to put 23 of that away. And now we gotta mix that with the iron gears to make the bimetal gears and then mix the bimetal gears with the dark steel to get the dark steel gears and then we'll be well on our way. So that is dark steel, right? Yes. Dark bimetal gears. And the reason we want five magmatic dynamos, well, four in the main base instead of one, is I'm gonna need a little bit of extra power because like one would get us to where we could use this 24 seven. However, three additional ones will get us an applied energistic system, fully powered, and maybe a couple mob simulators and a loot fabricator going would be ideal. And then we could start working towards new numismatic dynamos after that. So I'm just trying to think ahead here. And uh, that's done. That can go there with you. And yeah, um, I'm going to end the episode here. Next episode, these will be done. And we will make these magmatic dynamos and set them up with ender pumps. Or one ender pump and two ender tanks. But until later, I wish you a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.